Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Um, for those that are new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for Star Citizen content. So now this specific video is for more so new players that are are trying to get into Star Citizen or are, are kind of on the fence. Um, it's a great, this is a great opportunity for you because um, the Invictus launch week is coming up in a, in a day or two. Um, and this is an opportunity for you to get into the game for free. You can fly all the ships you want. And um, this is the best opportunity for you to check out the game to see if you're, if this is the right game for you or if your PC can't handle it. All right. Um, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe once again. And uh, let's get right into it. So first and foremost, if you are definitely new to this, uh, to Star Citizen, if you want to sign up, Make sure to use my referral code. You can find that in the, in the link in the links below as well, right? You can earn an extra 500, 5,000 AUEC while doing that. All right. So the first and foremost, um, so the question is, what is the Invictus launch week, right? So the, the Invictus launch week is more so a free fly event. Um, so from, I believe, uh, what is it? May 20th. From May 20th all the way to the 31st, to the end of May, you have an opportunity to rent out all types of ships that are flyable in the game right now. And you can test them out, see what you like, what you don't like. All right. And you can use them to actually test out all the different mechanics currently available in the game. So that is essentially what it is. Right. And throughout the days, um, various ship manufacturers will avail their ships for you to rent out. So um very soon i'm going to take you into the game and show you how to find it and uh where to go to rent your ships all right um this is yeah that way newer players you're going to need to know how to do that so that's that's why i'm going to do that uh very shortly but throughout the days they're going to be showing you they're going to be availing different manufacturers ages before that that was anvil for you know may 22nd to 23rd you'll get uh, ages dynamics all their ships and then 24th to 25th rsi and the, the different manufacturers origin and things like that so as you can see throughout the throughout the entire week you'll have the ships to test out all right so let's get right into it let's say you go ahead you sign up you get you get into uh you get your free account you get into the game all right so when you're getting into the game for the first time right when you're getting into the game for the first time you will get a you will get hold on why is why is this not here there all right so you'll you will get a screen like this when you initially lock it all right so what you'll need to do is quickly you need to set up your character you can customize the character all the way you like all right so you can go ahead and do that i'm just going to go straight into it and then um you'll you'll be given the option to select a home um location where your home base right and the current available options are orison lorgo area 18 and new baggage right what in this instance i'm going to use orison orison is the location where the event is happening that's where you'll need to go to actually rent the ships that's where the actual convention is happening all right the other locations are also uh, good locations too to start out with so now the warning about Orison is that it is a very demanding environment, right? In terms of graphic, graphical demand on, on your PC. So just bear that in mind. Frame rates might be a little bit low there. Um, it's not fully optimized yet. Um, but the other locations is a little bit, um, isn't as um, demanding, but uh, just let you know, if you choose Orison, just expect that, okay? Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to go straight into Orson. That way I can sh quickly show you where to, um, where to actually find the event itself. All right. So I'm going to set my residence there, confirm, and then we're going to load into the game. All right. So now we're loaded into the game. You'll spawn at, uh, what you call, you can see that the frame rates are low, um, a hack, right? So. Let me get rid of the chat here. So F12 gets rid of the chat if you want to enable chat or not. All right. So if you want to chat, you can just hit enter and then you could uh, say whatever to people. Right. 
um, so that's F12 right there. All right, so just to quickly get you uh, up to speed, um, WASD uh, will move your character. F4 will put you in third person. There's different modes here. So um, right up on your uh, right hand shoulder and then straight up um, third person. Okay. And um, so that's how you switch your view. WASD is your movement. Um, a very important, a very important thing to know is holding the F key will bring up your inner thought. So inner thought will allow you to interact with objects like this. So once I hold F, I'll get the option to open this door. Okay. So inner thought is going to be key. I can turn on and off the lights here. All right. So that's that's how inner thought works. So so that's F. Holding F and then um, left click. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight to the location. So this is this is the Habs. So this is more so a residential area at Orison. Okay. So I'm gonna try to we're gonna try to find this location. Haven't yet been there yet, but I'm just um, I don't think it'll be too difficult to find it here. Okay. So once again, I'm using the inner thought to actually interact with everything. Just just remind you that. All right, so so this is the lobby of the hab itself. There are there is restaurants and things like that. So if you need food, you can always go there to purchase food and things like that. So using your inner thought, you can purchase food and drinks as well. There's even ice cream that you can purchase, right? So inner thought is used for interaction overall within the game. All right, so this is Orison. This is I believe the most beautiful uh, location in gaming history. It's not fully optimized, so the frame rate is pretty low for me. Um, but um, we're gonna try to find this. Uh, let's see. Let's see what location. Okay, so what we'll need to do is we need we'll need to go to the spaceport. So from the spaceport you will have access to um, the actual expose. So that's what we're going to head to. All right, so now it's here. Let's hop in and it'll take us to spaceport. So another key thing uh, while we're waiting is your Moby Glass. Your Moby Glass is, is very essential to the player, right? So your Moby Glass, if you hit F1, it'll allow you to access um, your personal status, your, your, your vehicle manager, knickknacks, various applications, which is uh, useful for you as a player, right? So knickknacks is your where your stuff is at, your the inventory, uh, the inventory application that tracks where all your items are located right so that's what knickknacks is the sky map which you can also access with f2 um, will also give you the actual map of the entire star system so if you want to fly somewhere jump somewhere you can use that um mo trader that this is when you want to send other players money contract manager this is where you get your missions and things of that nature all right very very simple stuff um vehicle uh manager is where you can use to actually uh repair your vehicle repair and rearm your vehicle journals is any information that you receive and delphi is uh where you can see the affinity levels with your various factions and characters all right so um that was just a quick rundown so now that we're at the um spaceport here so i believe it's one of these uh let's see vision center okay so it's, it's he's, he's gone straight to it all right so this is a vision center this is going to take us to the vision center right so as soon as you exit run around come to this the vision center platform right here and then i'll hop on so with your Inner thought, you'll have the option to also sit down, right? So inner thought is used for everything. Yeah, so let me quickly get up. I'll show you another thing while we're flying to it. 
Um, if you hold F and right click, you'll get more access into what, whatever you want to do. If you want to do actions, if you want to, you know, if you have items, if you have weapons, if you want to access your movie glass, um, anything really. If you want a prone, white visor, and stuff like that, emotes, all of that here is here, right? So that's that's essentially um, how to access that stuff. It also gives you some great information in terms of your health, um, food, uh, oxygen levels, and, and all that. All that is here, right? So right click to actually exit. There we go. All right, so now we're here. So this is the actual convention center right here. So, so this is the vision center. So we head straight up. Hit F4 to get a third person. Another thing is uh, just to let you know, um, this is a space game. So whenever you go into space, you'll need an EVA suit such as the one you're wearing by default. Um, you'll have the option to you know, access various um, inventory in terms of your equipping yourself, right? So if you hit I, you can equip items, you can swap in and, in and out items and things like that, drag and drop stuff on yourself and, and things like that. For example, this helmet, I can quickly switch it, right? So just drag and drop, it's very simple. You know, this is a fantastic, uh, so that's essentially how the inventory system works. You can right click you know, equip, swap, various, various things, very simple and straightforward. And uh, a, a great thing is you can also have filters, right? If you want to filter based on armor or clothing and things like that, they, they, they could do that as well, right? So uh, very, very, very uh, straightforward system. Okay, so let's just move on. All right, so now that we're here, you know, there's various, um, you, get, you have an opportunity to actually check out um, the, the shops here. You can buy some t-shirts if you like. All that is here for the various man ship manufacturers. All right. So to actually access the, um, the various halls to, um, to rent ships, it will be through here. Hmm expo lobby so the only option is expo lobby so it looks like they haven't opened it up yet it looks like they haven't opened it up yet hmm. okay i thought they would so i guess based on the dates that's when they'll actually have it open then i thought they would actually have it actually open for the uh at least for one of them at least to test but um, essentially, this is where you need to come to, right? You get to this elevator based on the day, the ship manufacturer's hall will be available there. Um, as I just showed it, as I just showed it. All right. So what you'll do is based on whichever hall is available, you'll get the option here. You select that you go there and then you can check out the ships that they have available. Okay. Once you do that, you'll have the option to rent that ship if you're interested in actually testing it out and things of that nature all right so last but not least for those that did not select orison i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you how to um access your ship and quantum jump to actually um come to this location and uh access the same uh vision center on orison okay i'll be right back all right, so we're back. The game did crash on me. I don't know, I, I somehow crashed the game. So, uh, so I'm back at the spaceport, right? So I'm just gonna quickly um, take this opportunity to actually show you once you've rented your ship, right? Once you've rented your ship from the convention center, then you'll need to head back here and go to August Dunlow spaceport, okay? Okay, so then you head out this way. Okay, so it looks like the Drake location is available. So we'll check out the Drake ships, right? This way you could see what I mean. So Drake usually has a different location for its ships, okay? So this is a good opportunity to show you. It'll look like this once you get into the elevator. So once you get in, 
with all the convention centers it'll look like this there'll be various ships available okay and then um you can go to each ship and rent it okay except for the venture that one is not available in game yet but all the other ones you should be able to rent it uh most of them anyways so once you rent it then it will be available for you to actually take out which is which is what we're about to do okay also you can also use this to actually rent the same ships you can use those terminals to rent them as well okay so this applies to all the other ship manufacturers at the vision center which we get we just came from so we're going to get go back to the spaceport and i'm going to show you how to actually call your ship and how to fly out okay so now we're going to head to the hangars head this way all right so these terminals will give you the opportunity to actually spawn your ship the fleet manager here okay all right so as you can see i have various ships um that i own i want to take a second ship miss starfare why do i have a start I take a simple ship. I take a nomad. So you call your nomad, or whatever ship you you, you rented, or whatever ship you own, and um, it'll tell you what hangar it's located at. Okay. So then you can take any one of these elevators. Doesn't matter which. Any one of these. This side and this side. Okay. And then you go to hangar six. Okay, upon arrival, your ship will be here. And then as I shown you be before with the inner thought, you can use it to enter the ship. Okay. So once in, you just find your way to your seat, your pilot seat. okay so so this is your ship right there's multiple mfds there's multiple mfds right i'm holding f by the way so that i can look around right there's multiple mfds um in which and and various buttons that you could use right so all of this has has a purpose at least most of them anyway, at least some of them anyways eventually all of them will have a purpose but your ship status, target status, your map, everything is here. Comms, right? So, um, in order to leave, you'll need to actually contact the um, need to contact the ATC. Um, that's what I forget the full name, right? I'm just not thinking of it. But to scroll in, you can zoom in by scrolling in, and then um, you can uh, request. Once you contact the Orson landing, landing service, and then it will open. There is an alternative way to doing this, where which you can keybind, um, in which you can keybind. I'll show you shortly how to actually do that. All right. So to lift up was the um, space bar to lift your ship up, and then um, I'm hitting C to cruise okay n is to raise the landing gear yeah sorry if i'm i'm quick this is just a quick guide right this will get you up and, and running um so scroll wheel will will increase your speed okay and I'm holding shift to boost, okay? So this is my speed. This is how I control my speed, right? Scrolling down will bring it down and scrolling up will bring it all the way to the to my top speed. Since we're in atmosphere, we're not going the fastest we could possibly go. But um, um, as, as we leave the atmosphere, the faster we'll go, all right? As soon as we get into space, okay? So 
um to control the ship is your mouse to control your pitch yaw and all that to roll is um q and e okay um to stop you can hit c again to stop cruise control and um yeah so that is essentially it to if you you have guns as you can see these are my guns that i have available on the ship and if i want to fire is the left uh mouse button okay right now i'm in an area where um weapons are locked um i'm in an armistice zone which is the top right corner of the screen right now um you could see that uh no weapons are allowed to be fired here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to leave the atmosphere. I'm going to jump out and then I'm going to go to a space station and simulate how to actually jump. This way you uh, know how to actually get back to this location so that you can actually access the commitment. Okay, I'll be right back. Also, um, I wanted to mention if you want to jump, right, you have a device in your ship called to quantum um, quantum. Um, is it quantum device quantum drive right it's a quantum drive and the quantum drive allows you to jump long um, um, long distances okay it's just more like faster than like speed and um, it allows you to actually traverse the various planetary bodies okay so um, when you're in atmosphere you need to be at a certain um, altitude in order to actually jump right so the the B button is what initiates it okay so once it's initiated, it'll look like this. And you can see that the spool is complete. It'll spool up. And then once you are pointed, um, once you've selected a, a location where you're, you're going to jump or a point of interest, you're gonna jump, it'll calibrate to that location. Okay, so you can do it manually um, or you can select it, select the location like this through the map, okay? I just hit F2 to get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna clear that. Let me clear that. All right. So I believe is in order to leave um, Orison, I need to be at 150, 150 uh, thousand um, kilometers. Okay, so that's um, 150,000 meters. Sorry in order to actually be able to jump up okay so it's going to take me a little bit and i'll be right back as soon as uh i'm there all right so now that we're above 150 you'll see that some of the markers have now become blue okay so that means you can actually jump to the location so as you, as you can see as i select a location it will start calibrating to that location okay so um what i'll do is let me jump to hmm. let's jump to Daymar. Daymar is a moon around Crusader. Okay. This way I can show you how to get back. And what I just did to actually jump was to hold B once the calibration is complete. Okay? So that's how you actually jump. Okay, so so now what i'm gonna do is so if you're at any location any other location aside from ours right let's say you started out you went to the spaceport you got your ship out you're out of, outside the atmosphere right and um so what you need to do is go into your map and select crusader select crusader because i'm nearby it's it's not that far of a distance but for you um if you're at hurston if you're at Hurston, it's going to be a long jump. If you're at Microtech, it's going to be a long jump. If you're at R-Corp, it's going to be a long jump. All right. So um, just keep that in mind. But for this test case, we're jumping from game up. Okay. So you um, once it's selected, hit B. It will um, spool up and calibrate to uh, the actual location. Okay. So make sure you find the blue mark. Make sure you find a blue marker. You can see on my right hand side that it's pointing, it's trying to direct me to it. Find it of Crusader and then it will begin to calibrate. All right. So in order to actually jump to it, hold B 
after calibration is ready and then it will jump right just keep in mind if you're coming from any other other major locations it's going to be a lot of a longer jump okay so once you arrive once you arrive at um hurston no not hurston when you once you arrive at crusader the way to actually get to um orison is you need to look for the home location right so it looks like uh the invictus fleet so the invictus fleet is like the javelin and um the bango i'm not sure if the bango is going to also be there but the javelin um shows up at various locations um throughout the star system so right now it seems like it's currently at uh orison itself so that's why it's overlaying it but orison is right here right so select orison it will calibrate uh to it um even if you're on the opposite side of the of the um planet it will be able you'll be able to calibrate and jump to it so now that we're calibrated we're gonna hold b and then the the your ship will go around the planet and actually take you as close as possible to the landing zone okay so that's what's gonna happen going to f4 third person view if you hold f4 and hit the plus on your numpad it should change your zoom like that and then if you use the arrow key to go back it'll push it further back okay so just a little quick tip all right so let's go back into first person view okay so the jump is now complete okay so what we'll need to do is now you'll need to cruise all the way down to the actual spaceport and then once you get to the spaceport you'll need to request for landing once you request for landing it'll direct you to where you need to go to actually land at the spaceport and then from there you can get to um the locate the uh, vision center which i showed earlier okay so uh, i'm just gonna quickly uh see if i can quickly find it sometimes it is difficult to find the actual spaceport okay but i believe it's straight up ahead little architecture right here this this is a spaceport right here it should be this this right here it's a unique design it's a unique design see how all this centerpiece right here and it's connected so it's sort of like a web kind of that is a spaceport i believe usually if it's a uh, nighttime you will see some red flashing lights i think it will be like four red flashing lights from each stem and that will direct you to um, exactly where it is. Okay, so for doing this, I'll quickly show you in the menu where to actually keybind your ATC. Okay, so I believe it's vehicle. The cockpit. I believe it's at the bottom. Let's see if I can find it. Request landing, all right? Under vehicle movement, request landing, keybind that. That way you can always use a keybind to actually request for landing, okay? All right, so as you get close, the ATC will reach out to you and you'll see it available in your comms here, okay? Right there, right? Orison landing service, okay? So I'm going to hit this to request for a landing pad. Okay. And then all you're doing is you're going to look for a blue marker. It should give you a blue marker of where your landing pad is. If I could see it, there's a lot of other ships here. 
Okay, I believe it's right here. Yeah, there. So that's your this uh, chevron right here is your land battery. Okay. So you just head to it. It's other ships here. All right. So I I hit C to get out of cruise control and I'm using the arrow key to actually uh so now I'm using control to to straight down I'm using the arrows to actually move my ship and as I'm I'm also using the scroll bar to control how fast I can go right you can see the box on the left hand side this way I have more position precision this 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 icon right here as i'm increasing it and decreasing it okay so you, you dial it all the way down to have more control all right and for landing gear once again and then control left control to land it okay so that is essentially a, a quick guide on how to actually get to the location how to um some quick tips on how to get yourself going uh, inner thought and all this all the uh, essentials that you need to actually play the game and actually have fun all right so um once again if you like this type of content subscribe if you're new to the channel leave a like on this video share this with your friends all right um yeah hopefully uh you enjoy your free fly and uh i'll see you in the